I'm back with the second part of my home office organization series and today I'm going to share with you my desk drawer organization. Now I was planning on showing you the entire desk in one video but first of all I just think it would be too long and second of all I have not quite finished my desk top organization so that's going to be the next video in this series. Um, today I'm just going to focus on showing you my desk drawers. That being said, I am going to give you a brief look at my desktop, but just keep in mind that it's a work in progress. It's not totally organized the way that I want it to be yet. I'm just showing it to you to give you sort of like a point of reference. Um, and I will be showing you the shelves above um, and the uh, things that you see behind me, like the extension of my desk. That will all be separate videos. Um, so I will be showing you every part of my office. It's just I'm doing them kind of in bits and pieces. But uh, today I'm going to jump in and show you my desk drawers. I use this like most people would to store office supplies, um, paper clips, binder clips, post-it notes, paper, all that sort of stuff, checkbooks, um, business cards, folders, envelopes, stamps, you name it, it's all there. I'm going to go through every drawer with you and show you what I have in each drawer. Um, and it's just the my newest update to my organization of my drawers that is working for me lately. Um, and I'm excited to share it with you. Now I was very fortunate when I was in the process of organizing this that the Container Store had their Work Smart office sale on and I was able to pick up a couple things from that store, in, or from that store, from that sale including um, some um, accordion file organizers and I think that was the, those were the main things I got from the sale. Um, unfortunately it's sales not on anymore they have a different sale on now but I think these are still great products to have. And those were the things I bought. So now I'm going to show you, take you into the drawers and show you how I've organized them. Okay, to give you a little bit of reference, this is the uh, area of my room that I use for my desk. You can see, as I mentioned before, the top is not done being organized. It's still too cluttered, but I have piles of things, little bins and things that I'm just still working on sorting. Um, I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looked like. This is what the top of the desk looks like. It's a corner desk here. My file cabinet and printer are right here next to it. Um, if you missed my file organization video, I will link that below. Um, this is just this part of the room, and I have a little computer bag tucked in there if you were wondering what that little blue shadow was. Um, but this is where I keep my computers most of the time. My laptop there on the left, sometimes this is in the kitchen. I usually do some work downstairs for maybe the morning, and then I'll bring it up at, in the afternoon to store up here because I don't like to keep my computer out in the kitchen all day. But the four drawers I'm going to show you today, and there's little Winnie below. I am going to be doing um, some cord management as well because I kind of got haywire with some recent computer management I did, so uh, I will show that in a separate video as well. But Winnie's got a bed under there, and I also have a um, trash bin and one for recycling as well. So these are the four drawers I'm going to show you, to my right when I'm sitting in my chair, and to my left. Like I said, I'll be showing you the rest of this area, um, this is sort of the backsplash of my filming area, in a different video. So let's, let's look in the drawers. So these are the drawers to my right when I'm sitting at my computer desk here. Um, there's three drawers. There's two sort of more shallow or you know more shallow drawers and then one deeper one. So the top two are kind of my basic go-to office supplies that I use on any given day for filing, for just office work or whatever I'm doing. This top drawer has a whole lot of post-it notes in it. Kind of hard to miss those right front and center there. Uh, I had these in a bin before. That was was not working for me. Now I have them all sorted into one of the clear uh, drawer organizers that you can get at the container store. Um, this is a deeper one so it holds them nicely. I have a lot of different kinds of pads of paper. I write a lot of notes and I find that I like to have different colors, different sizes. That's just what suits me. So I'm going to go from left to right in this drawer here. First of all, over here I have a flashlight. I keep a flashlight in almost every room in our house in case of power failure. That being said, we've never lost the power in our house. Luckily, we live in a neighborhood where the power lines are underground. But, knock on wood, in case of that 
emergency, I just feel better having a flashlight handy and accessible in each room. I have my bigger stacks of paper over here. I love sticky notes. I love, love, love sticky notes. You probably know that if you've been watching my channel for a while. So I have different colors of these sort of note size ones. These are really extra big ones. I use these for projects to write notes or just even just for grocery lists and all that stuff. I have a couple of these special pads by um, Knock Knock that I've had for a while that I just like to keep in here. And then a big sort of project notebook down there uh, just for taking notes. I just, I like to have different size notepads on hand at any given time. To be honest, the ones I use the most, I keep at the top so I don't have to dig down for things. I have these also I use for scratch paper quite a bit that I just keep tucked in the side here. Then I have uh, right below it, I guess you would say. This is sort of my little junk drawer area of this drawer. This is just another one of those little drawer organizers from the container store, a small size. I have lots of lip balm. You guys know I'm a lip balm junkie if you watch my other channels. Um, and just sort of a hodgepodge of things. I have a worry stone and a staple remover and um, Measuring tape and a little another measuring tape thing, white out, a box cutter, an eraser, and matches. Just sort of a hodgepodge of things that I might need or use on any given day. In the center, this is uh, dedicated to my post-it notes of the smaller variety. So in the front, I have more of these note-style ones in the square, kind of small square shape. And then the rest of them are just tucked into this drawer organizer. I have all different kinds. I have in the middle here. These are my full sticky labels, um, which means they're sticky all the way down the whole label. In the back I have more traditional post-it notes. I don't use those quite as often. In the front I have my special size ones like hearts and stars and all of that. I use those most frequently for notes and things. Um, and then I have the tabs and tab sized ones. Now on the right side of the drawer I have my label maker here. I get a lot of questions on this. I linked it in my last uh, blog post that was coordinated with the last video uh, and this is the PT 1290 by Brother. I have two other kinds of Brother P-Touch labelers in the house. I have one on each level because I label so many things. I love them all. Uh, I keep one uh, cartridge of tape in there. The, the one that's in is the 9mm in the white tape with black ink and then I keep these three out because I use these the most often. I have another place where I keep backup ones or additional ones, um, but these are just the ones I switch out to the most often. 12 millimeter white uh, black ink on white tape, 9 millimeter black ink on clear tape, and 6 millimeter black ink on white tape. And I just like to keep those handy because I do switch out sizes of labels for different kinds of projects. Behind that I have sort of things that I don't need to access very often. I have push pins and um, painter's tape. Um, I don't use that a lot so that's why it's in the back. And then I have three different sizes of binder clips. Tiny. We have medium. And then extra large in the back there. I don't use the extra large ones that often. That's why I keep them in the back. I like just to keep the things I keep most use most frequently in the front. And then these little tins have um, paper clips in them. In the second drawer here, I have sort of more bill-oriented things, and I have three different drawer organizers in here. Again, those clear kinds, sort of a wider, longer one, and then a more narrow one, kind of like the exactly like the one I would had have all my post-it notes in, in the drawer above. This one has envelopes, um, extra check records, extra checks for our main checking account, our checkbook. Um, I have a password file. I think that's really important. I always put this in a very safe place when we're traveling. It has I have so many different passwords for all the different online things. It's just hard to keep track of them. That just helps me a lot. Uh, I also have, this is a new purchase, I bought this at the container store. Um, this is a business card file, which is great, and it actually came with um, alphabetical tabs, and I just used um, file, no, no, I just used labels to label the tabs for what I wanted them to be. So I have health, finance, home, uh, hair, landscape, pet, realty, travel, shopping, fitness, family, and friends. Um, and I just have this tucked in the side. I, I used to have my 
business cards organized um, in a binder clip and that just wasn't really working for me because I couldn't see them and now I can see them all. And I also have a calculator in here as well, some extra binder clips. In the next one over I have other checking accounts we have that we don't use very often, the checkbooks for them and the extra checkbooks that came with the accounts but we don't use those very often. I just like to keep them in a place where I know where they are. And then this drawer on the side, I know this does or this organizer doesn't look as neat, but this actually just has all of my address labels. You know how you get them in the mail when you um, give money to a charity, they send you address labels. Well, I have all of those. I Seasonally, they're in order of season. I can't show you because they have our home address on them, but um, I just keep them in order of season and I just rotate. So right now we're in spring, so I have the spring ones on the top and I'll rotate them to the bottom when it's summer and then all the summer ones on the top. And then I have all my different stamps just on top in a little stamp envelope. I have a couple of stress balls, some more binder clips. Um, because I keep my big binder clip uh, thing sort of in the back of the top drawer, I like to have a few on hand for easy access. And here, this is actually the calendar pages. This is where I put the pages of the current year's calendar. I save them because they're Mary Englebright artwork and I love them. And I use them in scrapbooking um, projects and for future, you know, for past years. In the very front of the drawer, I just have some plain 4 by 6 index cards. I use this to print recipes on mainly. I have a 3x5 index card box with 3x5 index cards in them. I use those for certain projects and ideas. And then um, another index card thing over here. Those are for specific projects and ideas. The bottom drawer is a file style drawer. Um, and I have it labeled paper and labels and that's exactly what's in there. It has the metal rungs in it. It came built into this furniture. And all of this furniture is from Pottery Barn. It's from the Bedford Home Office Collection. And I will have links to that in the coordinating blog post, as always. A uh, link for that will be below. And I'm just using these sort of expandable um, file folders with expanding bottoms to sort of corral my different kinds of paper. So going from left to right, I have a package of just plain white printer paper. Um, I just keep that in its package and I just cut the side off to keep it all together and, and prevent any bending. And then I have shipping labels in their original boxes here. I've taken my other labels, my more like address size labels, and I have them labeled by what kind of label they are using binder clips, or if they're packaged individually, like these ones in the front half of this folder are all from Paper Source and they're kind of in their own packages. Then I have um, specialty presentation paper. I use that to print my tone it up plan on and anything else I want to look especially nice. And then different color paper um, organized by, it's sort of in rainbow color order. At the far end there I have photo printer paper, um, full size sheets, and then at the very back of the drawer you can see I have the um, four by six size sheets if I ever want to print out any photos. And those are all the drawers on the right side of my desk. On the left side of my desk here, I have two big file folder style drawers, file style drawers. So they do have the metal pieces, you know, worked into them, which I wish I could remove, but I just found ways to work around them. So the top drawer is dedicated mostly to kind of work-related things for me. I also keep a lot of my electronics in here, cameras and things that I access quite frequently. So in the back, um, that sort of blue folder, that's a presentation folder, and I use that to put my inspiration boards in, you know, where you can put you kind of make collages of things. I do a lot of collage work, uh, inspiration sorts of things. I just like keeping them in that. That's actually from Jonathan Adler and I bought it at Barnes & Noble a while ago but I know they still sell them. This was a new uh, purchase. This file folder I use for basically all of my business related files for my organized gen business. So all my YouTube channels and all of that that's sort of related to that and I just use my label maker to label different sections of the folder. This just keeps everything nice and in one spot for me and really easy to access. In front of that I have my Kindle kind of tucked into the back just so I can keep track of it. I don't use my Kindle unless I'm traveling or reading a really heavy book. Um, I just prefer to read 
print books, but I like to have that for travel. It's really nice. And then here I have three folders. I actually need to purchase one more for all of my uh, sample subscription services. So I've got Eco Emmy, My Glam, Ipsy, and Birchbox. And then, like I said, I need to buy one more of these little envelopes. These are also from the container store for my fortune cookie soapbox. Um, ones. I like to keep track of these. These are all the little cards that come with every box and I've saved every one because sometimes I like to go back and see where they've doubled things, um, where they've sent similar products, that sort of thing. I just prefer to hold on to them. Um, that's just how I am. Then I have some filing uh, organization, filing, receipt filing organization in front of that. So this was another thing I purchased uh, during the office sale at the container store. Um, it's a receipt sized filing folder, accordion style, and I'm using this for all of my business related purchases. Uh, you gotta keep track of that stuff for tax reasons, and so I just have, I labeled them using the labels that came with for the, every tab is a month. So I will keep all of those on hand for a year at a time and just be able to pull those out when tax time comes around really, really easily. In front of that, I have sort of our personal receipts. I have two pouches, again, from the container store. This first one has household receipts, things that I've charged to our mutual credit cards, um, purchases that Don has made, that sort of thing. And in the back, there's another one for receipts um, from purchases I've made with my own money, my own credit card for personal things. And I keep two months worth in here at a time and then I will recycle. So these actually have our two part pouches. There's the pouch part in the back and then a little folder part in the front. And in the back part is where I keep um, receipts from the previous month. So right now those are February receipts and the front part is where I keep receipts from the current month, so that's March. So once March ends, I'll take out all the February receipts, go through them, make sure I don't not recycling anything I absolutely need for any reason, recycle what I don't need, and then move the March receipts back, and then start an April uh, section in the front. To the left here, you can see I have my camera. This is my Canon T4i. I just like to keep it stored in here, kind of safe out of the way, but easy access. I use it a lot to take photos for my blog and of Winnie. Um, it's in its crumpler case, so it's a perfect little way to keep it organized. And then in front of that, I have a um, little bin I've actually had for a while, but it's also from the container store. And I have on the left side of that bin sort of just like screen or computer cleaning products. This is kind of random. I have this little sponge applicator. This is not a cleaning product, but I actually use this to fish out um, wicks from candles because sometimes you need something like that. So I just designated that to be for that. Um, I also have the external hard drive I use to back up um, when I'm traveling my laptop. I have a little case full of extra memory cards. And then I have my most frequently used cords. And I do keep a lot of cords in this room. They're in a different place and I'll show you that later. Um, but I have these. I use my little Martha Stewart cord identifier things that I got at Staples. Um, this one's for the iPhone to connect to the computer. This one's for my this camera, the Sony Handycam, to connect. This one's for my Kindle to charge as well as connect to the computer. And this one's for my, my vlogging camera, my Canon 330HS, but it also works for any of the other Canon cameras. Now, I don't think you can see the other parts of the drawer, so I will take you in for a closer look. And the front part of the drawer here, that orange case is what I store my um, video camera in, which I'm filming on right now when I'm not using it. It's actually a very small camera. I also use this to travel with it, so it's just nice to keep everything sort of organized that way. I also have treats for my little bunny, my little Winnie. Uh, she's not a bunny, she's a dog, but I call her a bunny. And then this has my extra business cards in it. The bottom drawer, I don't think you can see this, but it's labeled... CDs, DVDs, and folders, and that's pretty much what's in it. So again, it's a filing style drawer, as you can see. On the left-hand side, I'm actually using one of those expandable file folders to corral just some empty folders. I use those sporadically for different things, and then I'm, they're empty, and then I put them back. I also have some extra um, page protectors and... Um, dividers and things like that that I use at any given time. I have backups of all those things in other places in my office, which we'll see later on in the series. 
I also have an extra presentation folder and extra large sized envelopes in the event I need to mail something like a letter sized document that I don't want to fold. Then I have in the back there I have these two um, mesh CD containers bins that I have had for many many years. I used to store our CD collection in those before I uh, we went all digital music and we don't have CDs anymore. But I still have the bins and so I use two in this drawer organization. The one in the back has DVDs, blank DVDs and empty cases. Um, I also have some um, like personal document things that I want to make sure, like even though I have all of my computer files backed up to the wazoo, uh, there's just certain things that I like to keep on disk as well for just peace of mind. I also have kind of randomly in here some counter wipes. I like to wipe down my counters every once in a while. It's just nice to have them handy. These are by Mrs. Myers. And the sides, tucked into the sides, I have more CD, DVD sleeves and de you know decorative labels, that sort of thing. And then in front of that, this one has all blank CDs in case I want to make like a music CD or a picture CD, that sort of thing. And then I have a nail polish remover. This is Remove Plus by Zoya. And my nail polish remover pads. I like the Hands Down Ultra Pads. You can get those at Sally's or other beauty supply stores. Um, as I'm often sitting at my desk and just really want to take my nail polish off. So that's why I have those there. And then... I'm not sure you can see it, so I'll tip you down a little. Tucked into the front there is a keyboard accessory for my iPad that I don't use very frequently, but it lives there all the same. And that is how I organize my uh, left side of my desk drawers. Well, now you've seen how I organize my desk drawers. Um, I did have a similar organization system in place before, but I didn't have the dedicated drawer for my work-related things. Um, and I just wanted to bring my more of my pads of note paper and my little sticky note collection into my drawer organization. And really, I just did a major tidy up. Um, and I'm really happy with it. And I'm very excited to be finishing up my desktop organization. And that video will be next on this channel for this series, so check back if you're interested. And um, there will be, like before, coordinating blog posts below, so you can check that out as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are enjoying this series. I'm very much enjoying it because it's really, um, it's just been a project, a labor of love and something that I've been wanting to do for a long time and I'm just so happy I'm finally doing it. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more. Take care you guys. Bye!